everyone, it's Adele Wong of SafeHavenHealing.net, and today I'm doing a quick book review of Larry Winget's latest book, Grow a Pair. Those of you who know Larry's work know that he's a uh, New York Times, a Wall Street Journal's uh, bestseller author. He's uh, often on CNBC talking about financial matters, and the primary message of most of his work is around personal responsibility, meaning no matter what happens, in life, it's how you respond that really matters. And I have to say, um, if you're looking for a personal development book that feels good, warm and fuzzy, this would not be the book for you. But if you're looking for something perhaps a little bit provocative, thought provoking, maybe a little bit in your face about some things, I would say give this book a try. I actually enjoyed this book much more than I expected. So Larry, if you're listening to this, love your stuff. I agree with a lot of what you're saying. And with that being said, I'm growing a pair too and sharing with the world my opinion of this book. My thought is that this book is really good for the what. Um, yes, absolutely. Things like speaking your truth, taking a stand for what you believe in, working hard. It's all about being uh, taking responsibility for your own choices. That if life hasn't worked out the way you expected, it's often because we haven't made choices that were really in alignment. You know, maybe we said yes when we really wanted to say no. Maybe we made choices to make other people happy, wanting to please, all that good stuff. That's great. And in my work as a healer, I'm more interested in the how rather than the what. Because my thought is that most people already have a sense that they're struggling to have a more authentic life and things aren't always so easy. You know, it's all great to talk about honesty, but sometimes it's a little hard when you're getting a lot of pressure from everyone else to be what you know you're not. And I'm more interested in the how. This book is all about the what. And I'm about getting people through those blocks so they can take responsibility and really rock it out in this life. The second point I'd have to say about this book is Larry's work tends to be very black and white. You know, it's looking at the world and everything is either right or wrong in terms of uh, what someone might do. And that's great. The problem is we all have different ideas of what right and wrong are. So, you know, Larry, it's not like there's only one truth that applies to the whole planet. And this is the challenge of our, our time. And it's not because people who don't agree are lazy or stupid or anything like that. We don't always share the same points of view. And my feeling is what the world really needs are the bridge makers. These are the people who can connect different points of view when people don't agree on what the right thing is to do. My thought is if you were to throw 100 people in a room and give them a very complex world problem like the world is full of, you'd probably end up with 100 very different answers. So yes, I'm all for taking responsibility for your life, knowing what's authentic for you, and I'd encourage people to also think about being a bridge maker. Because if we don't have bridge makers in this world, we have chaos, kind of like what we often see these days when everyone is so sure what the answer is. So that being said, I like this book. It's easy to read. It's funny. Makes you think. Check it out. Thanks. Until next time, this is Adele Wong, SafeHavenHealing.net. Bye-bye.